What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Rob Marley, and I'm back with another banger. And today, we're gonna tap back in to the Country Wayne Show. If you here, go ahead and tap that like button, man. Help me get this video to a thousand likes because what it does is it pushes this video right here through the algorithm and in front of other people, man. Hey, don't be stingy. Hit me with a subscribe too. Let's get it. I told y'all Mike is in big trouble, man. I can't stress it enough. Nah, man, it really ain't much Mike can do. I mean, at this point, he pretty much showed, you know, his hand. You know, it's not it's not looking good. I've been telling y'all, you know. Rolanda, she got a bad taste in her mouth now. Rashad pulls up. I'm listening, I'm watching the video. I noticed the doorbell keep ringing. And if y'all if y'all remember in my last video, I'm like, yo, why does this doorbell keep ringing? Next thing I know, he telling Rolanda he got somebody that want to apologize. Who else but Rashad? So Rashad come in with this soul. I just want to apologize with every fiber in my being. And actually, it worked. Rolanda felt like Rashad's apology was more genuine than Mike's. In return, she asked for that house key back. I don't think he was expecting that. If y'all noticed, she emphasized how Rashad and Mike lacked loyalty. And she also said that she needs all of her space. It's not looking good, Mike. You might've lost your girl, bro. After that, we got Philip showing up. Oh my God. This dude, Philip, is the biggest hat collector known to man. I mean, this dude just capped for no reason. He over here telling Country Wayne, oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll be taking care of my baby mama too, man. I pay the car note, rent, for student loans. I pay everything, man. I take care of my girl, man. You know, you know how we do. Couldn't happen any sooner, man. She pulls up to the crib. She drove 40 minutes away to come meet Philip to get a little bit of bread. Next thing we know, Philip asking for the Zelle, he asking for the cash app, wasn't looking good. Now, you know, Country Wayne, he ain't gonna play that. He called it out right then and there and told him, bro, you can't be fake hanging around me. You know what I'm saying? You over here capping like graduation day, ain't gonna happen, you feel me? So he definitely had to slide off and get that 40, 50, 60, whatever bucks, you know what I'm saying, that baby mama needed because Wayne wasn't just finna let him sit there and chill like that, especially after she popped up airing all his business out. Now let's talk about Amber's cousins, Jeremy and Ernestine. Now this married couple might be the most toxic individuals that Wayne has came across so far. I mean, every time he go over Amber brother's house, seem like it's a whole lot of negativity in the air. I mean, first you had her brother acting weird and all this other stuff going on. And now that they open, you got Bree who just was tripping out the gate. Like Wayne wasn't feeling that. You see, he checked that. Hey, when Wayne be like, hey man, on everything I love, <laughs> you already know it's finna get serious. But you notice she kept throwing jabs at Amber about the wedding, how she was trying to catch the bouquet and she was throwing a ring all in her face. And Amber actually walked up on them talking trash about her. If you remember, Wayne even pulled up on the scene like, uh, what's good? They was acting like they trying to play Jenga, the blocks fell. He like, is that the only thing that fell? Buddy ain't stupid. Wayne ain't stupid. He see what y'all doing. And I'm telling you, man, it's only a matter of time, man. Like, I really had a good feeling about him and Amber, but the more we look at it, the more he get to mingle with her family and her people. And then the whole situation with him and Rolanda, I did tell y'all they was going to make up, forgive each other. But the way uh, Shell was pulling up on her with the smoke ready to throw them things, it was finna get serious. If you notice, Rolanda had a lot of hurt in her eyes, man, when her and Wayne was sitting there, you know, trying to get back on good terms. But uh, if you ever notice, you see how he was on her bumper about the investor. She couldn't even look him in the eyes talking about what was going on. And he caught her like, hey, so why you know he out of town and I don't? I'm telling you, man, this whole rivalry that Wayne had with Mike, we might see a whole situation with this new guy. I'm talking about something we ain't never seen because Buddy got money. 
You seen his crib. Now him coming into the situation and investing money into the situation and being able to take road to that next level, Wayne might feel some way about that. So I wouldn't be surprised if we seen a little rivalry between him and her as well. This whole thing though know, with uh, Amber and Wayne and Jeremy and Ernestine, it looked like a whole bunch of mess. Now, am I tripping or is Ernestine Drip's probation officer? Either I'm tripping, but remember when he asked what y'all do for a living, she said, I'm a parole officer and Jeremy's a property manager. And then it hit me like, yo, I knew she looked familiar. That's Drip's PO officer. Hey, man, I'm sorry. I just be tied all up in the show. But what y'all think, man? I'm here to just say what I think and see what y'all think and see if we on the same page, man. Do y'all think Amber and Wayne is going to stay together? You see the toxicity going on every time he's around her family. You got Philip over here capping like graduation day. Like he got all the lids in the world. He not taking care of his baby mama like he said. Wayne was legit about to put dude on. So he might have messed up that opportunity. Then you got... Ernestine and Jeremy over here tripping, talking about all this marriage stuff, marriage stuff, and it just wasn't a lot of good energy, man. She gave him a tour of the crib. Ernestine is just taking shots the whole time, asking if he got closet space for her. Do she get her hair done there? Do he pay all the bills? It was a lot of shade being thrown, but you did see how she said, if the wedding happened, they better pull up with them shades, because uh, you know they gonna do it big, but. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. I'm gone.